So while the grill is heating up, I just want to update you on something interesting one of you wrote me today. I got an email from Sven from Germany and he is writing me info about the C1 update on the Mavic, or the, not the Mavic, but the Mini 4 Pro declassified drones. As some of you might have done, you have chosen to declassify your Mini 4 Pro as an option uh, DJI made available, where you could basically remove the C1 sticker from the drone, provide evidence to DJI that you did so, and thereby declassifying the drone. Here by the end of, uh, I think it was February, DJI reinstated the option that you could get a C1 label for your drone. And you had to go through a very easy process uh, to get that and then wait a couple of uh, yeah, days, maybe 10, 20 days to receive a C1 label that you could stick onto your drone. Yep. So, yes, this is the DJI Mini 4 Pro C1 compliance authentication sticker. <laughs> the only problem was that if you're flying a C1 drone in the EU territory, it's mandatory that you have remote ID enabled. And there was no new firmware available for the drone. So that would basically mean that you would have a C1 label drone that was not basically aligned with the, the, the rules or the requirements which would mean that it would not in reality be a C1 drone. But there is an update on this. DJI has done some uh, uh, fixes and some updates. This is what Sven wrote me about and actually asked me if I already knew this. Update news, just in case that you didn't know by now. And I didn't know it because, uh, as some of you might know, uh, I went through the process, uh, applied for the C1 label and I also received the label, but I decided to keep the C0 classification on uh, my Mini 4 Pro as it is, as I have no real benefit of uh, using it as a C1 drone. So. This is why I'm not aware of what he was writing me, so I'm very, very happy that he actually did, so I can update you guys on the progress. But now the progress is that we need to prepare the grill here. <laughs> I have this cast iron plate, and uh, I'm just giving it some hot water now, just to get rid of anything that's not supposed to be there. I don't know if you can see it, actually. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I need to prepare some meat for a pasta dish a little bit later. So, so now this one is is good, and we apply a little bit of yeah oil to the plate here, and I have a cloth here somewhere. Yes, in my pocket. So I can clean the, the spatula here. So I just distribute the oil. So now it's Very nice. A cast iron plate is really, really nice when you have a grill like this where everything is broken <laughs> and not working like it's supposed to. <laughs> All right. So let me just take this, the cloth again here and turn around here. Just wipe off the excess oil. Yeah. Like that. All right, so let's close this again. So I asked Sven if he could provide me with some additional information about this so I could show you guys how it actually looks like in the, the Mini 4 Pro interface. But let's just uh, recap what he's writing to me here. On uh, 25th or 3rd, I got a PM from the DJI forum admin regarding the remote ID problem. That seems to affect all pilots who has declassified the Mini 4 Pro from C0 to legacy drone status can 
enter remote ID after confirmed upgrade to C1. He's summarizing the problem that I just described. Or the reply from uh, the admin is, I forwarded your details to our relevant team. A new firmware of uh, the remote controller will be sent to you within two to three, one to three working days. Please install it while maintaining an internet connection. Once connected to the aircraft, the issue should be resolved by verifying the C1 status in safety max altitude request higher altitude limit. Let me just go and grab some meat. So everything is ready to be prepared. I have some bacon. We need some bacon. So I'll just put that one on here, just for a start, and let that defrost. <laughs> okay, so he's further saying, Today, on the 29th of March, I turned my Mini 4 Pro on, connected to the RC2 via the hotspot to the internet. And when checking for updates, I got a new firmware for the RC2 of 480 megabytes. Could have been a beer, but uh, now it's red wine. So, I downloaded and installed, switched the drone uh, and the RC2 off and on, and got the message that the FlySafe data has been updated too. How's it going here? <laughs> Turn this one around. So. Waiting for the drone to get a GPS fix under info check for updates of the new FlySafe data, downloaded and installed. Switch off and on the drone and RC2 again, and bingo, under security, the line to enter the remote ID is there. So it means that now it's actually possible to yeah, enable remote ID for your Mini 4 Pro, which is a requirement for it to be a valid C1 drone. Firmware is still 01000300, where the RC firmware is now 02000510. FlySafe database is 01000133. Ah. I'm just keep you here for the whole process of the cooking. <laughs> Cheers. All right. So, the weight warning if the plus battery is used is still remains, but as Sven says, he don't care. Maybe they will fix that in a later update. And then he's saying, I hope that all pilots with this new update get a new firmware. I guess he means this update that he's sending for me. Best regards, Sven, aka Xhansat on YouTube. And thank you, Sven, for providing me with this update, uh, allowing me to do like a swift reaction to, um, to this update. So every one of you that has gone through the process would know what to expect. Now, divide and conquer. Divide the bacon. So. So when I got this email, I asked uh, if Sven could kindly provide some uh, screenshots from uh, the Fly app to be able to show you what it would look like as it is right now, if you haven't seen it already. And kindly he did and responded very fast, so I have something that I could use as part of this video. So, this was the update. Now I will continue to cook some lovely mushrooms. I have some raw beef here that I have cut out. This is, uh, I think it's filet. <laughs> Then I have all the remains that I cut off with all the fat. I will use that and mix that with the bacon to add extra flavor, at least with the bacon fat. Maybe I will take off the bacon and then I will add these so I, I get some extra flavor into the dish. And then I'm going inside to finish off and cook a nice pasta dish for my family. Cheers and happy Easter if that's your thing. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.